Cortez, Queen Elizabeth, let it go now from 46. Queen Elizabeth, please test that stall, copy, thank you. Yes, hook him, thank you. Once you've passed the outer bound, Bradner at the Cadland, the Morgan Star, she will be uh, turning around and go back up to the boat show. And the Queen Elizabeth is saying go now from 46. Oh, shipmates. Queen Elizabeth on the departure. Absolutely on the second. It's 30 seconds to six o'clock and she's lines in and moving off. Captain will be super pleased at that punctual departure. Caught me slightly on the hop there. I found myself down in the galley and came back up, and the lines were coming. Please, yes, Ray Falcon, short away from Rob Pier. Position to come up to speed, please. Ray Falcon, please test that's all copied. Um, just depart in uh, 46 Beth as the Queen Elizabeth. Or Steve Martin, thank you. Red Osprey, Racker. Just going to turn the radio off. There we go, radio is off. Right. Yes, yeah, so Queen Elizabeth is departing this evening with. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Did have some numbers. Uh, 1,395 passengers on board. There. Don't know if we've got that. Yeah, thirteen hundred and ninety-five passengers on board this evening and nine thousand nine hundred and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-five crew. That's been a superb comfort ratio. Fairly decent day here in the Port of Southampton, a bit wet and drizzly this morning. The sun has come out this afternoon leading to oh, i would imagine a half decent sunset so if you're on your balcony with your rum based cocktail you'll be having a jolly good time oh with the fred not ted oh with the sun oh with their mark green and oh with their tizzy c and oh with their dowel tracy Had a number of people this afternoon waving on the Queen Elizabeth. I think they'd spotted themselves on the various different cameras. Let's have a look. It's quite busy. I've got a lot of yacht masks there in Ocean Village, up in uh, Tanky Marina. Oh, what sixes and eights today? Ah, oh, see visibility's looking pretty decent down there. Oh, hi there, Paul Adams. Uh, Bertie Doe saying people sing on their smartphones. Yes, we saw this. Oh, there, Lisa Smith. Ah, oh, hi there, Lewis Edlin. And oh, hi there, Gina Bunny. Quite got myself set up. Busy concentrating on other things. Oh, there, Fred Dotted. Oh, says he heard it. At least was a little hot. Yes, unfortunately, uh, 46th birth, they're facing away. Then the, the horn is quite quiet. I could barely hear it in my headphones. I think it comes over better on the on the live stream. Not to like if they are um, coming past 
Mayflower Park, then it's quite easy to hear them. Considering that the Queen Elizabeth is not at full capacity, there are quite a few people on board on their balconies. She has a maximum passage, passenger capacity of two and a half thousand, so she's really well running at oh, what's that about half capacity, about 1200, 1395. It's more or less half capacity, so there'll be plenty of space on board, plenty of plenty of crew, almost full crew capacity, I would think. So I imagine you'd be guaranteed a wonderful service on the Queen Mary 2, on the oh, Queen Elizabeth. I'm just didn't quite get myself together. I should know better, shouldn't I really? I should know better that the ships depart. I'm very much on time. Or early. Ah, oh, see, look at those people there enjoying a lovely sunset departure from the port of Southampton all the way up to Invergordon. I wonder which way she'll be going around the UK. I wonder if she's going around the uh, clockwise, around the Irish way, or anti clockwise, around the London Felixstowe way. Hmm. Can't, I can't imagine what's it, Invergordon. Is that go through the lake, the bit of a lock? Ask Cromarty? Oh, I don't know. Maybe into the Cromarty Firth and spot all those oil rigs that are parked up there, maybe. I'm right, just get myself together here. I've got all my camera controls all over the place. Here we go. Still got quite a bit of pleasure craft traffic in port at the moment due to the Southampton boat show. Uh, one of them is what we'll see shortly is the Morning Star, which is a Dutch tool ship, sailing ship, training ship. And she's uh, taking little pleasure trips in the evenings from the boat show uh, with her sails up. Looks rather fantastic wafting around. You just imagine some pirates leaping off and trying to pick up some rum from somewhere on their way. All right, OK, I think I'm uh, slightly more organised now. All right, let's go back to the chat. Who's in the chat there? Then? Oh, we're there. Larry Finkel from Sun City, Arizona. 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, uh, very impressive ship, mate. We're probably nudging 72 Fahrenheit here in port today. It's nothing to be sneezed at, though. Quite nice this time of year. Very pleasant, very comfortable. Humidity is a little bit higher because of the rain we had earlier. I think that's made... Made a little bit more humid than normal. Switch to that one. Oh, hoy there, Tina Betts. It's just become a member and joined the Captain's Club. Many thanks, shipmates. Glad you made it on board. Now we have a waiver from one of these stern balconies. Oh, that's going to be a first. Oh, you know, stern, stern balconies, balconies do look quite attractive, don't they? Oh, he's, they're really putting the effort in now. Oh, that's a sort of circular motion there. 
Very impressive. Oops, wrong camera. Oh, yeah, they're Linda West. Oh, they're Colin Large. And oh, they're Be Happy Cruiser. Says uh, a few of my cruise group friends on board may be waving. Well, there was definitely a, a group at the stern of the QE waving. Perhaps it was them. I'm not sure how long this trip is for. I imagine it's a staycation trip up to the Scottish Highlands. I don't know the itinerary either. Oh, hello there, Arthur Sturgis. Uh, nice to hear from you again. Lovely voice. Oh, mate, thanks, shipping. Very kind words indeed. Oh, hello there, Lee Beeson. And hello there, Dan Cooper says, when is the Sky Princess going out tomorrow? I think it's quite late. Oh, no, five o'clock. Which one's quite late? There, one's really late. Oh, that's the Silver Spirit. Silver Spirit's going out tomorrow at 11 o'clock at night, which is far too late for a live stream. I should be busy in my cabin, sleeping. And one of the local red funnels here, one of the local raptors going past the Queen Elizabeth. And one of the cameras pointing in entirely the wrong place. Let's see if I can correct that. Uh, we'll have the MSC Virtuoso departing at seven. I'm not sure how prompt she will be. Or early or late if you're subscribed to the channel then whenever I have a live stream on you'll be notified it's a good way to keep in touch because sometimes the vessel times are a little on the flexible side shall we say I think the captains pride themselves in leaving bang on the dots but medical emergencies and loading circumstances sometimes mean that they they leave a little late and of course, other ships coming and going as well. Yeah, it really is turning into a rather nice evening. Perfect. Hoi there, uh, Carol Fittis, uh, says uh, many thanks for the tour of the show. Yes, I did a little tour of the boat show. It's, if you look through the channel videos, you'll find that. I was hoping uh, to live stream. I went down on the Friday, the first day of the boat show, and did a little test, and that seemed to work well. And then Saturday, when I went down to do the live stream, um, it um, just couldn't get enough signal on the phone to hold a decent live stream rather rather a shame so I, I went back down on the Sunday so three days in the road to the boat show and walked around made a little video just to give you a, a flavor of what the boat show is about because not everyone not everyone is familiar with the boat show and if you're not really interested in boats you probably haven't gone before but if you just fancy a day out and a look at lots of different things and you have a passing interest, I couldn't recommend it. Oh, there, Daryl, Darren Bryant. Almost missed the QE, absolutely should be. Yes, yeah. same here. I caught me on the hop as well. I've become rather used to them leaving five to ten minutes late, so I take my time in the dally, galley, prepare myself a drink and you know, get ready for our broadcast and all of a sudden I've come upstairs and the lines are coming in at a rate of knots and she's almost ready to go.
with their uh, William Apps. What's also top speed? Not uh, not a great deal of top speed on the Queen. This was actually more of a cruise ship than a cruise liner. So twenty three point seven knots or forty three point nine kilometres an hour for you continental types. Or twenty seven point three miles per hour in, in the Queen's language. Oh, some lovely clouds there. Hoping that we'll see the Dutch training ship Morning Star somewhere. She's out there somewhere. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yep, there she is. Oh, excellent. We'll see her just at the right time. In fact, she's just coming up Southampton Water with. Oh, she's got her sails in. Maybe there's not enough wind. Oh, hoi there, Mac Cat Lady. Many thanks for joining the Captain's Club and becoming part of the cruise ship, mate. Welcome aboard. Yes, normally the mortgage star, that's the one, the vessel in front here. Then we've got one of the Red Funnel Raptors, and at the back we've got the Ragnar container ship. But the Morning Star's been uh, sailing around with her sails up. She looks. Looks every bit the pirate ship that you'd imagine she might be. I think if you were setting sail, look at that the sunset you'd be a pleasure to at the moment. Not too bad. Pity your sails aren't up. Let's move that over there. There we go. Queen Elizabeth's one of the. Uh, actually, we're not looking at the Queen Elizabeth, are we? Maybe I should rectify that situation. Zoom out here. Trundle over here. The trouble is, we've got some big a big row row blocking our way, which is particularly helpful see some of the, the multi-story car parks here and are not for cruise passengers they are just for new cars that are coming and going through the port of southampton looks to me to be mainly minis there with a selection of bmws at the back it looks like a couple of bmws on the higher level as well oh if i move across a bit I'll be able to see the name of the roro it is toreador Queen Elizabeth built in uh, 2009, launched in uh, January of 2010, makes her just over 11 years old. Powered by two azipods. That means the underneath the vessel there are two propellers, but uh, they're rather like supermarket shopping trolley wheels. They spin round and round giving a great deal of maneuverability and flexibility, thus not needing tugs to dock in port. It's a fairly common feature of all cruise ships these days, smaller vessels, and also toys in Peppa Pig world. The Red Funnel ferries use a completely different system, which I am not seen on any other ship, but I think it's probably just something that's ideal for ferries and maybe tugs or vessels that maneuver around ports something like that I'm not sure the exact use I it's a I forget the name of it now it was a vent I've forgotten the name but instead of a propeller it's got a number of rotating vertical blades quite a, quite a different interesting different technique there we go, and that's, and that's what's on the, the Red Funnel Ferry there that's coming towards us. Whereas the Mortgage Star uses sails and a conventional repair, I should suspect. Where do we might get to? Uh, oh, there, Chris Hubbard says, very faint this evening. Oh, uh, let me check my levels. Seems all good, seems to me, shipmates. Uh, 
give it a slight tweak. I'm conscious about doing too much because it then gets too loud. I'll give that a tweak and see how it is. Could be that I was looking away. Sometimes I'm staring off the different spot in the cabin trying to get things working. Oh, and uh, Mark Carroll says volume okay for you. Oh, okay, right. So I should have just carried on reading, shouldn't I? Oh, the David J. Enjoy. He also enjoyed the video of the boat show. I saw one yacht I'd like to have. Oh, just the one. I saw many, many I'd like to have. Not many I could afford, though. Although, in all, all honesty, the, the pricing of boats at the boat show does cover a wide range. You could probably get on the water for you know, around a thousand pounds for a little inflatable dinghy. Probably paddle balls, maybe a little bit less than that. So, it's you know, the water is accessible. It's not just the purveyor of multi-millionaires and their super yachts, but their super yachts are lovely. Oh, there, Bertie Doe. Was the Morse code an iceberg? Iceberg warning? No, it wasn't. It was a message in Morse code. I will allow. I shall leave it to your imagination what the message was. I might change the message. Oh, there, Linda West, one of our new members of the Captain's Club. Yes, she absolutely loves the commentary on the Captain, Blue Spanners, and shipmates, and the members are amazing. Thank you all for making these amazing commentaries and amazing cameras too. Great. Glad you're enjoying it, shipmates. Get a lot of a lot of positive praise from people. And it's not just me here. The blue spanners do I think make the live streams particularly good. With lots and lots of useful information. Not just the special live streams I'm doing well it's now now. Uh, but also during the day the cameras are constantly streaming and there's always a always a friendly, helpful spanner in there with some knowledge and information if you have a question well, i was saying that a lot of the shipmates are really knowledgeable as well i have to be careful what i say because if i say something someone normally pipes up that i'm i'm not right and here is the right answer which is also handy oh there mira lima says my favorite of the cunard ships is still the queen victoria she was supposed to have gone to piano cruises but they stopped the order before she was finished. Oh, I see. I think there is another new Cunard ship coming at some point. Uh, also, I'll, I'll have to remember to do this. Uh, there was a last time we were, or well, a couple of times ago, we were talking about the Queen Mary 2. She's having some refit work done in i think it's in france in brest um, because we were commenting that on some of the recent visits to the port southampton she was looking slightly weather worn but she's in the uh, in brest having a some refit work done but i found a really great video of the work that was being done to queen mary too so i shall post a link to that i shall have to go and find it uh, but it was really interesting. It gives you an idea of what happens to a refit. And it's quite impressive. Um, first of all, of course, they put them into a drop, put them into a dry dock, uh, and then repaint and scrub the bottom and take the propellers off. And then you can see the acipods as well. Uh, so you see all that. And then they start going on to the superstructure and just adding blocks and blocks to the top and taking stuff off like Lego. It's amazing. I should, if I find that, I'll put that up into the community. So make sure you don't make sure you subscribe, and then you won't miss out to any posts I put into the. Uh, oh, anyway, something's a bit smoky there. Oh, Reiki. Look at that. That's I had some Morse code earlier, but that's sending smoke signals. I, I think that is the. Oh, I can't remember the name now. Let's have a look. It's the it's one of the uh, a ship on ship carrot. It's the Do Volente. Too fast. And as you can see, she's got uh, a bit of ship on ship action there. Very smart. Look at that. Look at the 
paintwork on that vessel is wonderful, isn't it? Well, let's have a quick look on board. I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. Let's see if I can... Anything we fancy on here. Okay. Looks, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a, like a trader style yacht. Or could be a North Haven. Something like that. Looks quite nice. But certainly cover distance in that. Not too large. No, something else behind. Can't work out what that one is either. And what's up here? Uh, hmm. Slightly obscured by the crane. Looks like if I didn't know better, I'd say it looked like one of the red jets. Hmm. I think it is. What do you think? Is that one of the red jets? Can't really tell. It looks like something. Uh, oh, I can't quite read what that says. It might be clearer for you. Lie. Uh, no, I think that's uh, some sort of foreign language. But it does look like one of the red jets. One of the. Uh, like a. Oh, no, it's got propellers. So it's not one of the red jets. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, it's got propellers. Not one of the red jets then. But uh, oh, interesting vessel, nonetheless. Just go to show you what we have here in the Port of Southampton variety of vessels oh, I think it's like she's preparing to go soon as well okay let's go back to the Queen Elizabeth and then shortly we'll be uh, currently I'll check the departure time because you know how they like to change their departure times I see Virtuosa Virtuosa still scheduled for seven and she'll be coming from back up this way that rather lovely sunset that's coming in. Marvellous. Just need to pop to the head because uh, slight, slightly prompt departure of Queen Elizabeth caught me on the hop. Oh, I'll just need to uh, uh, drain the black water tank a second. Ahoy there, shipmates. Be happy cruiser. Welcome to the Captain's Club, shipmate. Welcome aboard, shipmate. And hope you'll enjoy being part of the crew. Visibility has uh, certainly picked up this afternoon. This morning it was quite poor. Quite drizzly. Really felt like autumn was on its way in. I was out with Rusty earlier, the little dog. And uh, it's actually quite nice. 
I'm going to pop the radio back on so we can keep an ears open for MSC Virtuosa. Starting at about half an hour's time, so shouldn't be too much of a trouble. Uh, where's the radio? Radio, radio, radio. There we go. Radio is on. Oh, with their HP, so she'd love to be on a 10 day Cunard cruise. Yeah, that would be cracking, wouldn't it? Well, it looks like we've got the crane coming down here on the ship, like the Do Volente, or I think what it was called. Dio, Dio Valente. Why storm, uh, Dio Valente? Oh, Dio Valente, there we go. Yep. Hey, why storm? Yep, good evening. Yes, Channel 10. Channel 10. Hmm. Let's have a look at on Channel 10, shall we? Let's see what's going on there. Yep. Hmm. No, I can't hear it. No, that'll be good. The tugs. The tugs just arrived for... Yeah, that's all yeah, thank you very much for that. Oh, DTR1P Gaming, yes, he remembers it's the Voith Schneider Repeller. I couldn't remember it for the life of me. It's a really great solution. I'll have a quick Google of that if you can. So it's a very a different system than one that we are used to. BTS Jenny Blue, Town Key for Hive. Hoi there, ever, Chris. Jenny Blue, BTS, that's all copy, thank you. Just uh, going past your station, the uh, Morgan Star, back to the boat show. Awesome, thank you. That's really very clear down there today. I'm not sure what's happening there down at the Doe Valente. I've got her cranes moving around. She might be unloading something, of course. Oh, there, Carol Whittlesey. Oh, Chris, it was as much better. Well, I haven't really done anything. I'll give it a slight tweak. It's a very sensitive thing. I can't. What I can't do is I can't monitor the output very easily. It's a big, big delay. Uh, the delay between me broadcasting and me being able to hear it on YouTube is it's about forty-five seconds. So it, it's very difficult to moderate things. With a mark for ditto, that says that's much better than the commentary. Okay, good, 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 good. Ever Chris says it's been raining up east all day. Queen Elizabeth BTS. Queen Elizabeth BTS, good evening again. Uh, just to inform you uh, that you will have no patrol this evening. Oh, we're there, Philippa Jones. Watching her go out as my sister in law and husband. Are currently having dinner. Thank you. Now the Dio Volante is due to depart at 16.30, according to Kevin Sue, one of our excellent spanners there. Off and away to Alexandria in Egypt. Taking a couple of ships on her way. Oh, there, study with me. Is the ship going on a transatlantic voyage? No, she's just going up to Scotland. It's a 10 night luxury British Isles coastal cruise with Dickie Arbiter. 
Ooh, who's Dickie Arbiter then? Sounds like a a jockey. Dickie Arbiter. Oh, he's a British journalist, television and radio commentator. Oh, oh there we go. Can't say I've heard of him, but he's on board. Hopefully giving you the passengers a commentary. Chat's just jumped down. Boy there, Tim Maynard, says he was waving like mad last Sunday, the 5th. Got covered in soot. Oh, but P&O paid to have our clothes cleaned. Oh, interesting. wonder, how did you get covered in soot then, shipmate? Did it just blow back from the funnel? Hmm. Gosh, that's not very good, is it? make you wonder about the fact that the ships are in port with their engines all the time and maybe fuel power would be a good thing. Port of Southampton does have the worst air quality in Europe. Oh, well, there's still read. Look, Troms Fingluschduk is a Norwegian Just transport company. The, uh, to the hook outbound on. Oh, well, thank you for that. Hook and down, be tested. All copy, thank you. The immediate inward bound traffic for you, the cow shot gauge 4 decimal 35, and the next board in will be the Epic St. George at 1945 in St. Helen. That's a Norwegian transport ship. Looks like it's being repurposed by being sent to Egypt or somewhere. Maybe BTS, this is Redjet 7. Just came up to Northwest 80 and push current speed. Redjet 7 BTS, yes, if it's safe to do so. Oh, well, David Caddy says that the uh, Virtuoso is not coming back to Southampton anytime soon. Staying in the Mediterranean for the next cruises. And just flying back. Aha. Uh -huh. I've noticed now in the yeah, about this time of the month, I'll read an excellent article. Quite a few of the cruise ships are now starting their cruises to other countries and also moving and redeploying to the Mediterranean, such like. We could be seeing a different variety of ships coming out of port rather than the same ships we've had coming and going all the time. And the Morning Star has just come back into port after our little jolly up and down south of the water. I think it was uh, £30 or £20, I don't remember. £30 I think it was for a trip. And you get to go on there and go up and down. Best bar in the boat show, I would have to say, if you are down Southampton boat show, highly recommend it. It'll, um, it's right on the end of the marina on the pontoons. You get a lovely view of the water. It's a rather a good treat for having walked all that way down through the boat show. And the cheapest beer in the boat show as well. So really nothing in this nothing against it. As long as you like Dutch beer, of course. Oh there was Carol Whittlesey is the, the Disney ship. No Disney ships at the moment. Oh, Terry Newbies found that video I was talking about. It's a good video. Just sh really shows you what goes on on a, on a refit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, David J. M. I see. He's also. Found the ferry on the De Valente. It's the Fleur Fleur. Built in 2011 on the way from Norway. 
getting been repurposed to the vessel when they're sort of on top of the other vessel the white and brown one it's a bit like a red jet without the jet and being red Would there be a Says you also enjoyed the commentary of my boat show video. Excellent shipmate. Glad you enjoyed that one. Hello, Vita. That's all copy. Thank you. There's no immediate traffic to affect you. You have the ferries on and in and out of Kells. And then the Queen Elizabeth at the Hook Boy. She's a clear channel vessel. Ah, oh, oi there, Emma Harrison, the perfect business partner, and Nicholas August. Ah, oh, oi there, shipmates. Ah, oh, oi there, Toby Pentany. And oi oh, there, Louise Garvey, who says, where the devil is cow shot? Well, oh, this is pertinent timing. Cow shot is, I can zoom out. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And I shuffle over here a little bit. Oh, a little bit more zooming out here. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, oh, maybe a bit more again. There we go. And I'll just shuffle. Queen Elizabeth Vita, that's all copy, thank you. Traffic information inward bound Red Eagle. Let's cover out West Brambles. And the next board in will be the Epic St. George at 1945 at St. Helens. So, Cowshot is this building you can see on the right and also the tall what looks like a navigation tower it's in the rather in the exhaust fumes of the Dow Volonte do Volonte what it was that's cow shot spit it's a very thin bank Hello to BTS, the Valente. Dear Valente, BTS, good evening yeah good evening just singling up on 25 berths Nine plus one on board, outbound to the leap uh, for Palmer in uh, New York. The Evergreen Safety Test and the Max Control? Five decimal four. The Evergreen Safety Test, that's all received. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's cow shot spit. That was the question where's cow shots? So that's cow shot spit. Excellent place to do a bit of ship spotting. You can get right to the end where uh, where you saw look like a bit of an air traffic control tower. If I zoom out a bit, you'll be able to see it again. Just on the right hand side. Hey, yes, it's Jenny Blue. Hi to Town Key. Jenny Blue, be all Copy, thank you. There you go. Just, it's just on the edge of the picture in that haze. Excellent location. You get to, you'll get really close to the ships as they come past. Like, for instance, the Queen Elizabeth will come past really close to Cash Shot Spit. Get your timings right, and you can sit there with a picnic or pop into the cafe. Cheers, Morgan. Still all fast on the boat show side. Morgan, serve the test or Thank you. We have the Doi Valetti on her way out as well. And you're getting a, quite a decent sunset here as well for the MSC Virtuosa. Should be departing in just over, just under 20 minutes. We'll see how timely she is oh hi there tim's coming back with information about his sooting it was the black rain that, that had staff sweeping it's all up not stand under the chimney again oh like black rain gosh I'm guessing it's because it's been in port for a while, just sat there on ticking over. As soon as they go out and power up, it blows out all of the soot that's collected and, and you were the unlucky shipmate that got rained. A black rain of soot. Well, that's very unfortunate. Well, that's very good at P&O to dry clean everything for you. Oh, there, Martin. I just one says that Diggy Arbiter was the HM Queen's press secretary at one time. Ah. Oh. I see, I knew someone would know. 
people always know on the channel. Oi there, Dave Watts. Oh, not right there. Princess Caroline VTS. Yeah, we're just level with the hound at the moment. Our packs are left because we can go off towards the boat show. So we'd like to make a turn here, please, and head inbound. Princess Caroline VTS, Authority, thank you. Traffic information departing from the Empress that we're bound is the Dio Valente. And the next departure would be the MSD Virtue, the 1900 from 102 berth. Yeah. Uh, oh, there. Princess Caroline VTS, did you copy? Yeah, I did reply. Oh, all copied, thank you. Oh, we're there. Uh, BTS, BTS, Princess Caroline. All copies, thank you very much. Princess Caroline, BTS, Dorothy, thank you. Oh, the Batcat lady says she loves the old sailing ships. Yeah, I, it's a pleasure to see them. It's not often we see them in port here, so it does make a change from all the other vessels we have. But that's one of the things that's great here about the Port of Southampton. Such a wide variety of vessels. And a great selection of sunsets as well. I'm just going to zoom in on the Queen Elizabeth while she's reaching Cowshot Spit and just about to turn around the spit. Oh, there, Richard Moon. Uh, oh, Elizabeth Whittlesey says, is that a freight ship in the background, Captain? Ooh, not sure. That was a ferry in the background a while ago. I think the conversation well, with uh, Fred Dottes says, will the Virtuoso be back ever? Mm, don't know. Oh, well, David Kelly says that the Grandiosa appears to be replacing the Virtuosa for the coming cruises from Southampton. Oh, excellent. It'll be a brand new ship. In, oh, is that a brand new ship? No, a different ship. I've, we've not had the Grandiosa on the channel before. There we go, round the corner. Oh, there, Clinton's Brett uh, says thank you for commentating and making it so interesting. What? No problem there, shipmate. Uh, Luis Angel Ramirez says something. Oh, no, I can't quite fathom it out in Spanish. I think he probably says, well done, shipmates. That would be my translation. Oh, oh there, Emma Harrison. The birth of business yes, partner. MSC Virtuoso VTS, good evening. VTS, MSC Virtuoso, for the last time, starboard side alongside 102 berth. Class 8, decimal 53, we're off to Faro. And going up to the upper swinging grounds and uh, taking the bad port and proceeding outbound. MSC Virtuoso VTS, that's all received, thank you. And just to confirm, you have a PC pass for the inward bound Grand A Houston boarding at 2000 at Charlie. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be on the way on time. Uh, okay. BTS, Red Osprey. Red Osprey, BTS. Yeah, good evening. Uh, could you just confirm our berth as 49 tonight, please. Berth 49 for the Red Osprey. Red Osprey, be to stand by. I'll get in contact with the berth and officer. That's all copied. Thank you very much. Oh, with the Leslie Taylor says, can you fly a drone at Cowshot? Yes, you can fly a drone at Cowshot, providing you have uh, a license. Uh, the Cowshot Spit is owned by Hampshire County Council and they require you to be licensed and insured. So as long as you meet those two criteria, then yes, you may fly at Cowshot Spit. 
It's one of my favorite locations for taking photographs. Not so good for doing a drone video that I like to do in the port here. Uh, if I do a drone video in port, the ships are only going at six knots. It takes them a lot longer to go past. And I, get, I get a decent amount of uh, coverage. In. But that cow shot spit, uh, often they come in early in the morning and that's, that's how I find it's a much better place to take photographs. You've got a lot more water. You've got the castle at the end of cow shot spit to take photos as well. And the ships are going a little bit faster, so there's a bit more uh, dynamism in the water, a bit more activity going on. It looks, it's a great place to take, a, to take photographs, but you just need to make sure you've got your licenses and your insurances. The uh, Due Volante, just out of Empress Dock there, with the Blue Ferry on board. Oh, there, Carol Whittlesey says so she went to Southampton last week and saw the boat show market. It's all the big, large cruise ships in the docks. Yes, yeah, the trouble is with the boat shows, and you can't uh, can't get down to any ship spotting down in uh, down in Mayflower Park. Oh, hello, look at these chaps here. This is the local Itchin Rowing Club. I mean, I, I admire their pluckiness, but I'm not sure I'd want to be rowing on the Itchin. Devilish waters there. The MSC Virtuosa is going to be departing on time, which is good. That's Queen Elizabeth is disappearing to the distance, and I don't think we're going to see her past. No, we're not. Not past the great big hulking row rows there. Oh, the duets, and will the Dio Volante take to get to Egypt? I'm not sure, because she's actually on her way to... Um, they did say... Mm, Somewhere in the Mediterranean, it wasn't Egypt. Was it? Uh, hmm. Oh, my memory's getting worse and worse. They did say where she was going to, but it wasn't um, wasn't Lanzarote, was it? Where was she going? Somewhere in the Mediterranean, but not uh, not Egypt first. So don't know how long she takes to get to Egypt. Probably not long. Direct ship to Egypt, probably in yeah. Only 10 days or so, I would imagine. Oh, and never Chris has said about the same, yeah. One week and a few days. Yeah, it doesn't take long. Uh, the big difference is the vessels may not travel particularly fast, but they do travel up for 24 hours a day, which that does make a big difference. And uh, Robert's been listening to the radio. He says that the MSC Virtuos is going to up a swing ground. A fantastic sunset. The uh, Virtuosa singled up, ready to go. Please proceed. Lovely sunset departure. Hello, Steve Virtuosa, VTS. I saw copy and the edge, you're clear to proceed. And there's no reported traffic to affect you. That's great, thank you. Oh, Elizabeth Whittlesey says, loves watching Sunship Channel. It's very relaxing. The cruises, the ferries, depart from Southern. Oh, well, glad to be a service ship, mate. That's the... I believe that's the Princess Caroline there in the centre of the screen. Little tiny vessel. So a little pleasure, pleasure ferry. Pleasure, pleasure ferry? Not really a ferry. Pleasure, uh, pleasure cruise ship. A lot of parties on board. And because the boat share is on, I suspect that she's been hired by a couple of corporates. For a bit of evening. Back there, BTS. Good evening, that's all copy, thank you, and no reported inward bound traffic from the west. Uh, question from, oh, there, how old is she, Does Are there any passengers in the Virtuosa? I didn't hear, to be honest, but I assumed there is. A MSC Virtuosa is... Just up here off to the right. I won't see her just yet. She's singling up, just about to depart. So give her a few minutes. And we'll Why you still, BTS? 
Houston finish with the D over Lansing now, heading back to Mac Ward. Oi, Dawn, it's just all coming, thank you. Something we see quite often in the port of Southampton here is the just opposite the port is the Forley refinery producing petrochemical products for most of Europe. And often we see lots of this exciting flaring going on. It looks really good at night time. It's slightly cloudy, all sky glows orange. Of course, there's lots of phantom phone calls to the fire brigade saying there's something on fire somewhere. What about fire? That sky looks like it's on fire, doesn't it? I'll have a quick check to see. MSC Virtuos is still against the berth, but she was singled up. And due to the... Oh, hoi there. Stephanie waxed off. Many thanks for becoming a member and joining the community. Heading out to the lead. Uh, look at it. 1945, but the North East Germany. Cleveland, Toby, Church, that's Oracy, thank you. Have inward bounds, Princess Caroline, Northwest Netley, and then Red Eagle up the hook. Oh, copy, thank you. BTS, uh, Red Eagle. Hello, Lauren, as you said. Hook boy. Red Eagle, Toby, Church, that's all copy, thank you. Traffic information out of bounds from the Itchen is the Gio Valente. And listen off 102 berth, the MSC Virtuoso. Uh, should be up to the upper screen ground and an outward bound. All copy, thank you. The harbour master vessels here. Looks like she's coming in at the end of the shift. Notice the blue light on top. I suppose you could refer to them as the police of the water. But there are police on the water. There are a couple of boats you see around the port occasionally that are actually police boats with police written down the side whereas this says harbour master but don't ignore that blue light on top because he can slap you with a fine for speeding so roger six cts yes, that's all copied traffic information queen elizabeth west bramble outbound to the east clear channel best to obey those speeding regulations Yeah, it looks like we'll be at just a few minutes before we'll see the MSC Virtuosa coming from the right-hand side of the screen. Look how dark it's getting up there. It's going to be feel like it's starting to feel wintry. These nights are drawing in earlier and earlier, aren't they? VTS, Red Jet 7, short way from Tanky Over. Uh, Red Jet 7, VTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, uh, Princess Caroline approaching northwest west Metley inbound. To, uh, That's all good, thanks very much. Yeah, there's the Princess Caroline. Uh, I did see a question about, oh, Carol, see what's the best place to see the big cruise ships and take photos? Uh, Owls, your cute dog. Oh, Rusty's fine. He had a bit of near infection. Went to the vets again yesterday. Now it's uh, now the swelling's gone down. You could, he could, the vet could peer in his ear hole, and it's all good. The best place is a number of places to do a bit of cruise ship spotting. End of Town Key Pier is a good location. Uh, you'll see all the ships that are docked at the higher berths. Up, it's up to the right where the MSC Virtuosa is. They'll come past. And then something that's docked, uh, docked at the lower berths, like 46, 44, and 35, 33, you'll see them as well. They'll turn right in front of you. You get a good view there. and uh, Somewhere to park your car, although do remember to pay the parking charge. You can also uh, walk there if you're local, I suppose. Uh, 
excellent fish and chip shop not too far away if you want to sit there with a bag of fish and chips and watch the ships go by. That's not a bad one to do. And then there's a couple of other places like a Hythe. Get a view of the high, they tend to pass, it's probably not so good. Uh, also, Hamble Point Marina, it's not too bad. Uh, Victoria Country Park, Western Shore. Probably my next favourite would be Cowshot Spit because you get a really good view of them. And if you're prepared to wait for a while, you'll see them go all round the harbour, uh, all round Bramble Bank as well, all round the Isle of Wight. So you probably see them for the most, and you'll get to see them for the closest. So I probably say that. Cow Shot Spit is one of my favourite locations. Uh, we just got the Virtuosa now. Hey, there she is. Palmer oh, Mallorca. Thank you for that, shipmate. Ali Cat, Ali Clark. That's right. I knew it was. Uh, I I remembered the. I remembered it was somewhere in the Mediterranean. And I was stuck on the wrong places. Barbara in New York, excellent. Yes, we'll see such a lovely sunset. It's a lovely sunset this evening. Absolutely wonderful. And Emma Harrison also likes the lovely sunset. Oh, there, Nero five seven one says he was down in Southampton the weekend, coming home from the Isle White. And saw Iona and Virtuos are beautiful ships. Ah, yes. He, uh, shipmate Nero 571 brings up a good point. One of the best locations to. I read Jet 7 BTS. Red Jet 7 reply. Red Jet 7 BTS for further traffic information. The Dio Valente, Northwest Netley outbound. And the MSC Virtuos uh, just departed one or two berths going to the upper swinging ground, swinging then outbound. Up. That's a copy. Thanks for about seven hours. Yeah, it makes a good point. One of the one of the great places to actually do a bit of cruise ship spotting, if you can coordinate your timings, is to be on one of the Red Funnel ferries going to or from the Isle of Wight. Closer look, see if there's any passion on board. I didn't hear the radio. Don't know if there's any passion on board. I'm assuming there is passion on board. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can see a few people on the balcony though. Well, they could be. Is there Jenny Blue, Town Keeper Hive? Jenny Blue, the BTS, that's all copied. Our traffic information, MSC Virtuosa, just departed 102 berth to the upper swing around or swing and then be outbound up. All received, thank you. All right, Bertie Doe's got some pricing information here. Virtuosa, 10 nights, El Ferrol to Lisbon, to Barcelona, Marseille, Genoa. Prices for inside cabins five nine five per person. Balconies from eight six six per person. Sounds very reasonable, doesn't it? That's for ten nights. And continue with shipmate Bertie Doe's information. Do you know what to stand stead, right there, only ten pounds. You make a compelling argument, shipmate. Ever Chris says, looks like a hurricane approaching. No, I, I don't think it's anywhere that exciting, unfortunately. Oh, Ever Chris says, Town Keys, where he goes as well. Yeah, Town Keys are, is a good spot. Just remember to pay the parking charge for that. One of those pesky parking camera things. Even if you're just sat in your car, you have to, you have to pay a parking charge. And ahoy there, Simon Densham. Work with all shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. Uh, Little West coming in from information as well. Best place to take pictures. Town Key, Mayflower Park. Yeah. Western Shore, Hamble and Cow Shop. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. I think what I need to do one day really is a top five ship spotting locations in the Port of Southampton. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I get asked this question quite frequently. I should just, uh, just make that a permanent video and you can all reference it. Give you the pros and cons of each location, of course.
Virtuosa heading on her way to the upper swing ground. Which direction will she swing? Oh, I'm guessing anti-clockwise. It seems to be the flavour of the month at the moment for swinging. Uh, David Kelly's talking about the Virtuos are going to Dubai and the Grandiosa covering the Mediterranean. I don't know, it's very complicated with the ship movements. I think the, the pandemic's thrown lots of spanners into the works at the moment. Oh, all at sea. Hoy there, shipmates. Says if you're on the Isle of Wight. Happy St. George, BTS. Good evening. Egypt Point is a great location. Oh, that makes, should make, makes a very good point there. Edward Passon says, how many people are on the ship? I don't know. Shipmate, I haven't heard anything on the radio, and I don't think anyone else has. Happy St. George, BTS. That's all copied. Uh, please call me back once you're underway. Uh, traffic information, we have the Queen Elizabeth, West Ride Middle, outbound main channel. Uh, please stay to the south of the channel until you're called forward by the pilot boat. Over. And now that the Queen Elizabeth has zigzagged round Bramble Bank, she's heading back out the other way. And you can see how good visibility is this evening. We can see those lovely rolling green hills of the Isle of Wight. Happy St. George VTS, that's all copied. Can I have your deepest draft, please? And the Dalve du Evolante. VTS, all copied, thank you who's off on her way to Palmer, Mallorca. This is what I was saying, that if you are on Cowshot's bit, you get to see them come past really close, and then you get to watch them loop around. I think around. the Esther said to arrive at the western shelf inbound. Are we going to carry up into the dock, please? This is Caroline, BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, the MSC Virtuosa in the upper swinging ground will swing and then be outbound over. Yeah, copy on that. We'll, we'll keep well clear. Be careful, copy. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll say you get a really good view from Bramble Bank if conditions. Bramble Bank? Well, if, you, if you're on Bramble Bank, you get an excellent view. I had a cricket match there the other week and I missed it. I was going to make a video. Pesky cricket matches. Not Normally they schedule them in advance, but I think it's all been a bit weird with the pandemic. Jenny Blue, approaching high fear, closing down now. Thank you and a good night. Jenny Blue, VTSL, copy, thank you, good evening. Jenny Blue sounded a little bit tired there after a hard day, slogging between Hyde and Town Quay. Oh, then the West says she'd forgot about Hyde. Yeah, you can spot the cruise ships in Hyde. It's not the best of locations, but if you are based in the sort of New Forest way, uh, then it's a good alternative. The MSC Virtuos are just reaching the upper swing ground. We'll just cut back, shall we, and carry on with the Queen Elizabeth. She'll be out of sight shortly. Uh, she's, uh, what does she say? Uh, she said to Hamble Point because her youngest daughter's ashes are scattered down there. She'd love to see the boats. We scattered her just as Ventura was passing Hamble in February 2016. Oh, that's. Sounds very appropriate, they should make. I could think of a better location, really. Oh, yeah, Lorraine Butters says so long, Virtuosa, leaving Southampton for the. I think that's supposed to be foreseeable future, but it says for the steerable future, but I quite like the steerable future. It's a future with direction. Safe travels. Excellent. Kevin, too, one of our helpful spanners. It says there's been no such numbers announced yet. Okay, that's what. Good. Mark Bidotto says he had a £60 pound fine at Town Quay. Took an important work call and didn't want to be didn't want to be driving. Work wouldn't pay the fine. Yeah, you've got to watch out. I, that's why I, I would want to repeat myself but i don't want any of you shipmates being caught out it's easy to do you drive the end of town key in your car you sit in there you watch the ships wind down your windows while you have your cup of tea and your fish and chips enjoy the experience and then drive off and not realize that you've just incurred a parking fine because you haven't paid for the parking ticket one of those horrible <laughs> camera systems Oh, 
with a Chris Hibbard says doesn't think we'll be seeing Virtuoso for some time. Well, that's a that's a shame. But then, I think in my experience, there'll be another ship to come along instead. So I'm always looking forward to the next exciting ship. A bit like a school, a bit like a boy, I suppose, a little schoolboy, just looking forward to the the next thing all the time. Oh, well, Hoy the Dizzy Sea says he really enjoys watching the ships coming and going. Very soothing. Stress butting. Stress bustling. Watching the huge ships come and go. Even better with my commentary. Oh, thank you, shipmate. I certainly know how to make the captain blush. Hoy there, Andrew Lawn. When are any of my cameras coming online? Oh, it's a good question. I'm waiting for an electrician at one location. The holiday period has not been the best during August. With people on holiday. One person's on holiday, then the other person's on holiday, and then the other person's on holiday again. So hopefully that'll be sorting out. My other location has internet installed, but it's really slow. It's not fast enough to... Grandy Houston, BTS, good evening. So that's no good. And then I'm... Randy Houston, BTS, that's all copied. Please call me back once you're underway for the update in the traffic. And then I've had an offer of quite a few other locations, and I'm all keen for it. And I'm, people say, yes, we've got a location, and I say, great, let's talk about it. And then we have a few exchange of emails, and then it just goes quiet. And yeah, yeah I understand it's not on, it's not a priority for people, is it? They, I'm just a, you know, I just want to have a bit of their internet connection and the wall space, and, but it's not really important for them, so. I'm probably at the bottom of the list. Not sure what's on that television screen. Well, I bet you what it isn't. It's not so that ships TV, that's for sure. Queen Elizabeth at the far end, the Dovolante on the right-hand side, and two red jets. They're the fast catamarans between cows and townkeep here. BTS, Army Workboat 42. Army Workboat 42, BTS, good evening. BTS, Army Workboat 42, good evening, sir. That is now departing SMT, bound for Livington, by the Fawn Channel. Over. BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information. The Princess Caroline dockhead into Town Key. MSC Virtuosa swinging the upper swinging ground, then outbound. And uh, Red Eagle approaching Northwest Netley inbound, followed by Red Jet 6. Up. Uh, where did I get to there? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've asked the question about the cameras. Or alternatively, if anyone does know of, of somewhere that I can mount a camera in the area that's got a good view of the water, please let me know. If you own a, own a building or you have a, a business with a, a view of the water, please let me know. Uh, just send me an email to uh, captain at ahoyshipmate.com. I'll see if, what we can do. I don't need much, just need a little bit of your broadband connection and a little bit of electricity. Probably somewhere in the region of a few pennies a day. So, very small amount of resources. Oh, with well, the Paul Webb says his daughter is a passenger on board. I think you, you know, wonder if you're about QE or Virtuoso here. Oh, there, Adele Shaw. I'd like to thank the, I'd like to thank me and the crew. Of course, all the blue spans for helping out. Oh, and Hoy there, Paul Webb says there's about eight hundred passengers on board. She says, oh. okay, eight hundred passengers. I don't know. I've not heard anything. So, sounds about right, I guess. Oh, 
with their Dean Flynn. So he's very lucky to have been on Virtuos last week. Fantastic weather. Beautiful ship. Probably be replaced by the Magnifica. Again, I don't think we've had Magnifica on the channel. Uh, so, although it's a shame to see one ship go, normally it means we get something in replacement that's equally as exciting. What the hell is Bookle C? So asked me if I enjoyed my ice cream. I didn't have an ice cream today. I had an ice cream on uh, Saturday when my live stream from the boat show failed. I had to drown my sorrows in a lovely ice cream. It's surprisingly warm. Ahoy there. Prettiest red jet 6 approaching high line permission to carry. Ahoy there. A red jet 6 VTS if it's safe, yes. You may proceed at speed, traffic information, Princess Caroline at 38 nine berth, inbound to Tanki. MSC Virtuosa has swung in the upper swinging round and is now outbound. Pretty stretch at 6, that's all copy sir, thank you, and uh, on arrival this craft will be out of service. Uh, Red Jet 6, VTS all copy, thank you. Oh, the Nigel Warren says that it's... Uh, VTS, VTS, Princess Caroline. Yeah, just for clarification, we're not bound for Town Key at the minute. We're going to head up into the Western Dock. So we're going to have to decide of the, uh, of the Town Key until the MSC Virtuosa has passed over. Princess Caroline, VTS, all copy, thank you. VTS, Virtuosa, all swung. Copy the Princess Caroline, thank you. MSC Virtuosa, VTS, that's all copied. Further traffic information, Red Jet 6 at the Western Shelf inbound, Red Eagle, Northwest Netley inbound. See him there, thank you. Uh, VTS, uh, Red Eagle just coming up to hide line inbound. Red Eagle, VTS, all copied. Trust information, MSC Virtuosa, up the swinging ground, outbound on. Thanks. Let leave VTS them. And let leave VTS, all copied, thank you. Oh, with her, Emma Harrison says that even if she, even if she sits in the car, she buys a ticket for the pen's place. Pretty good idea. You want to fall uh, asleep? Theodore and... Esberger, VTS, uh, stand by, please. I want to fall asleep and wake up with a parking ticket, would you? Oh, there, Mark Castle. Yes, we are all well, thank you. Rusty is good. Oh, with there, Mark. Earl says the MSC Magnifica starts Southampton summer season from the end of April 2022. Oh, thanks for that ship, mate. I'll keep an eye out for that. Oh, we're there, Gwen Vickers. Theodore Esberger, VTS. I'm just reading your message across across multiple lines. Uh, your husband's electrician and... and Theodore works, Esberger, VTS, uh, you called me on it. Works in the port. Or the Southampton area. Marvellous. Uh, well, if you'd like to help out on the channel, I'd be most appreciative. Theodore Esberger, VTS, that's all copied. Please maintain a good listening watch on channel 12 for the traffic and call me back when you pass the NAB tower and before you drop your anchor at St. Helens Anchorage. Traffic information, the Grande Houston in NAB Anchorage number 6 is raising her anchor and she will board at boarding area Charlie 2000. Outbound traffic. Queen Elizabeth at the Mother Bank. Outbound main channel to the east of. Well, I'd be very keen uh, there, uh, shipmate Gwen Vickers, if uh, your husband would care to help out with a little bit of installation. It's not terribly difficult. It's just an extension of a bit of mains electricity. Uh, VTS or copy. Please call me back before you drop your anchor so I can check your position. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not certified. Yeah, if you're if if he's willing to help out, I'd much appreciate that. Uh, just drop me an email. Musketeer VTS. Captain at ahoyshipmate dot com. Big Paul. He's saying that his daughter's on the Virtuosa. Musketeer VTS. That's all copied. Traffic information: A Queen Elizabeth at the Mother Bank outbound main channel. Sospen Dow at the Brown Down Boy outbound main channel. The Epic St. George is raising her anchor in uh, St. Helens Anchorage to board at 1945 at Echo. 
Oh, hoy there, Linda West, who says her eldest daughter, Evie, is a big fan of Rusty. And the big St. George for yourself. He knows how to steal the hearts, does little Rusty. He's very clever at that. Hoy there, Philip Hunt, asks Harry Pitch on Queen Elizabeth. We're going to go with uh, 2,495 from memory, roughly. Big St. George, DTS, that's all copied. Further traffic information. Musketeer outbound from Portsmouth will be outbound by the West Princessa going over the uh, St. Helens Anchorage. 1300. Oh, Kevin Two's already beat me to it. 1395, not 14. No, oh, there's Simon Dench. DTS, all copied. Thank you. Oh, he's down in Pembroke Dock, West Wales. We have our little Irish ferry blue star you know, each day. Ah, oh, excellent shipmate. I will have to take a journey around to the Pembroke Dock and see what's going on down there. It's been a while since I've been down the direction. Oh, hi there, Joel Kidd. It says, interest know what's the model of your static cameras you're using for the feed over in Town Key. Are you able to control remotely? Uh, the static cameras, uh, there's two static cameras. One's a Dahu model, and the other one is a Brittle Cam. They're both uh, IP cameras, They're both 4K IP cameras. One was a budget camera, and one was a bit more expensive. And the more expensive one is the Dahu one, and that's well, I'm not sure you pronounce it Dahu, and that's a really good picture. That's Ferry Cam, and then the what was Ferry Cam is the now been moved across to Town Key Cam that catches the traffic and that's a, that's a Brill Cam I think there's an affiliate link in the description there should be Queen Elizabeth CTS and you can pick them up for about £45 now I think on Amazon uh, the... Queen Elizabeth CTS traffic information the uh, Musketeer approaching the OSB will be outbound via the West Princessa Epic St. George is underway in St. Helens, Anchorage. She will remain south of the uh, channel to you pass. Grande Houston is raising her anchor in NAB Anchorage number six. She will board at 2000 boarding area, Charlie. Up. The Dahu camera, I think, was about 250 or 40 pounds, something like that. Good good camera, much better camera than the cheap one. But frankly, the cheap one is, is excellent for streaming onto the uh, YouTube. It's very good. If you just want to get started experimenting with the streaming, I can recommend that one. Oh, as Kevin says, the text is below. Mr. Short says, does the MSC Virtuosa play that We Will Rock You theme? Not that I know of, no. Uh, she just honks from memory. I don't remember any tunes coming out of the MSC Virtuosa, unless I'm missing something. <laughs> oh... Jeremy Morgan says, if it was cruise ships only, how many could you fit into the whole port of Southampton? Ooh. That's a really good question. Think about that. You've got the container port there. You're going to get... Well, it depends on the size of your cruise ships, of course. You'd probably get two STC-5, because that's a 400-metre long vessel, and there's some space either side. Get a couple down the other side, and you get normally a few more... It's got to be nudging 20 cruise ships, I would think, in the whole ports, if you're using all the available docks. Got to be nudging that sort of number, I would say. There, David JM says, My good lady thinks I should be certified. Yes, probably not the only one. Well, there ever Chris says, Seeing the Disney magic and virtuous are leaving, will the anthem of the seas and others follow suit? Uh, it's difficult to tell. Some of the cruise companies are repositioning their fleets, they often do different seasons and different locations. Uh, they'll do a summer in the in the uh, Caribbean, and then I'll come over here for sort of the autumn phase, and then it'll often go off the Mediterranean for the winter. So, uh, and then likewise, we'll have other ships move around to offer 
I guess it offers various different cruises from different locations. Some people don't like to fly out to their cruise, but they want to travel on different ships. Some of these ships go into different locations, down to the Caribbean or across to the States or even up to the Norwegian uh, fields. That seems to be a popular one the other day. In the chat, there were an awful lot of people who were taking the cruise ships up to the Norwegian fields. Oh, well, the Gwen Vickers says he'll be more than happy to help. Well, that's a brilliant ship, mate. Many thanks for that. That'll be helpful. Not, it's, nothing's terribly complicated. Just need some, basically, some um, bit of uh, fused spur extension. That's all we need. VTS, this is Army CSB 70. Army CSB 70. CSB 70, VTS. VTS 70. We're approaching Dibden Bay, outbound for Portsmouth via North Channel. CSB 70, BTS, that's all copied. Track information, MSC Virtuosa, 102 berth outbound. Red Eagle at 40 berth inbound to Royal Pier. Okay, received. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the army boat must be... I'll have to see if we can see him. Pretty sure he could see the MSC Virtuoso. Hard to miss. Yeah, just in the bottom left of the screen here is the Marchwood, which is the military dock for ships, uh, merchant navy ships that are supplying. Some of the various islands. Uh, the other day, one of the ships that returned returned all the way from the Falklands. Carol, what's he saying? The cl clouds looking very grey. They're looking grey, but there's still a bit of colour in the sky on that sunset. I can't see a great deal of passengers on the MSC Virtuoso. So as we said, those balconies are really empty. Although, looking at the time, I'm guessing probably everyone's everyone's in the buffet. But I, those reports of passenger numbers being around 800, I would say, seem pretty good. Red Falcon, BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, the Dio Voliente at the hook, outbound main channel. She'll be outbound to the west of them. A BTS, further traffic information, the MSC Virtuosa approaching pier head outbound. is a the MSC Virtuoso approaching pier head. And we saw the MSC Virtuoso come into ports with a fanfare of yeah, water yeah, salutes. Dio Voliente BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, Red Falcon shortly underway from Canada. Unfortunately, she had terrible timing. Launched uh, back in late November 2019, and then of course, pandemic set in soon after that. But well, it was good to see her arrive in ports on well, the water salute. That was excellent. Uh, you can watch one of my videos. I actually droned her coming in. So if there's only 800 people on board, it's a far cry from the maximum capacity of 6,334. And typically there's maximum capacity of 1,700 crews. Princess Caroline, Red Eagle. Uh, Red Eagle, Princess Caroline, good, good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Are you uh, heading up for stern of the Vetro, sir? Yeah, we are. We're heading up into the western door. Okay, so I just went for the Osprey, so if you want to crack on, we'll hold we'll position here. Yep, very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'm not sure how many crew on board. Possibly, I'd say a full complement of the crew if he's going to be cruising in the Mediterranean. So, some lovely skies this evening. Really are rather nice.
Or there will be film. Another great episode. He says, enjoy the boat show coverage too. Oh, many thanks, shipmates. Some nice colours in the sky now, aren't there? You'll be missing those if you're busy at the buffet. Oh, there, the pack, A.K. Andrew. All love, all your cams. Many thanks. Oh, oh there, Fred. Ted says I droned her when I was in Southampton. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, Red Osprey, shortly departing. Roll bit for cow, please. Red Osprey, BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, MSC Virtuosa, peer head outbound. Soft window, VTS. Now, VTS, that's all copied. Traffic information. The Epic St. George underway in St. Helens, Anchorage, will board at 1945 at Echo. And the Grandy Houston raising her anchor in Nab Anchorage number six, inbound then to Charlie to board at 2000 over. VTS, all copied. Thank you. VTS. Uh, Red Osprey, all copied on your traffic, thank you. Musketeer VTS. Oh, there's the Princess Caroline. VTS, all copied, thank you. VTS, Virtuosa, pay head boy outbound. Virtuosa, VTS, that's all copied. Uh, can I have a clear of the VC time when you can, please? Twenty thirty. Twenty thirty, thank you. Getting a great view there. Randy Houston, BTS seven. Randy Houston, VTS, that's all copied. Traffic information. Passenger vessel, Queen Elizabeth, between the forts outbound main channel and the Theodore Essenberger, eight miles to the East of the NAB Tower is inbound to St. Helens, Anchorage. Over. Oh, and uh, well, hi there, Mr. Schutz, who says it's the MSC Splendida. Splendida. That plays the We Will Rock You theme. Oh, I didn't know that. There we go. So if she comes in port, it'll be excellent. We'll definitely be on the... I was going to say the lookout for that horn, but that doesn't make any sense. We'll keep our ears open. There we go. That's better, isn't it? We'll keep our ears open for that one. A Grandy Houston, VTS. A Grandy Houston, VTS. Uh, please maintain a good listening watch on Channel 12 for the traffic and 09 for your pilots. Please do not pass your pilot boarding area until your pilot is safely on board your bridge. Uh, Yes, that's all copied. Traffic information. Epic St. George underway in St. Helens will hold south of the uh, channel until you have passed the Theodore Esberger approaching the south Puller Boy inbound to St. Helens. And the Grande Houston is underway from Nabarish number six. will board at Charlie 2000 over. Uh, a couple, uh, someone asked a question. I can't see it. Uh... Went past me where the ship's off for the uh, Queen is the seat, yes. Uh, also, your transmission is uh, motorboating. The uh, Queen is off to Ingvar Gordon in Scotland, and the MSC Virtuosa is off to El Ferro in Spain. There we go. Yes, Army Workboat 42, high fear outbound. Army Workboat 42, VTS, all copied, thank you. And if you want to know, there's Army Workboat 42. Just having a 
A little trundle down there. I'm not sure where she's off to. Oh, there, Joanne Bell says, I absolutely love watching the cruise ships coming in and leaving. It's so calming and they look so peaceful. Loves the MSC Virtuosa. Your commentary and the coverage of the boat show was lovely. Oh, many thanks, shipmate. Oh, oh that's very pleasing to hear. Virtuosa, VTS-7. VTS, Virtuosa. Virtuosa, VTS, sir. Do you have crew and passenger numbers, please? Yes. What's going on then? What are they? VTS, Virtuosa. Passengers, 739. Crew, 1259. A BTS, sir, copy, passengers 739, crew 1259. That's correct, and the next port is Pharrell, Foxtrot, Echo, Romeo, Romeo, Oscar Lima. A BTS, all copy, thank you. Yep, so the earlier reports of being about 800 passengers on board was about right, so it's almost a 2 to 1 crew to passenger ratio. It's pretty good. And we've got the flaring going on over in Bali. Something a little different in the sun settings. Probably just about perfect lights for that. If it gets too dark, the flares blow out the camera. And if it's too sunny, you can't really see the flames. So about this sort of dusky light is perfect for seeing the flares. Roger at 7 VTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, Dio Valiente at the store Knoll, outbound to the west. MSC Virtuosa, dockhead outbound. Over. Well, shipmates, I'm probably going to sign off here i'll continue i'll continue following the ships one on the cameras but uh, it's time for me to get down to the galley and prepare myself evening meal so many thanks for tuning in shipmates and, uh, if you haven't subscribed do think about subscribing it'll help spread the word of the channel well, if you'd like to support the channel we have the various ways you can support the channel now uh, you can make a one-off donation via PayPal. Uh, you can also join the Patreon. And, of course, we now have the memberships on YouTube. All of these are open and available to you. If you can't afford to, or afford to do anything, then don't worry. Just hit the subscribe button. That's free, and that really helps a lot. And, of course, thank you to all the blue spanners who look after the live streams while I'm broadcasting and not just this live stream all the other live streaming that are on the cameras all the time I should continue on following the ships but I just do need to hit the galley until next time shipmates VTS, Virtuosa, Western Shelf. Virtuosa, VTS, all copy, thank you. Yes, Army CSB 70, Army CSB 70. CSB 70, VTS. Yes, 70. Uh, we're just passing Hot Air uh, to Portsmouth. Uh, 0 BTS, CSB 70 BTS, that's all copied. 
Uh, do you have a working AI sunboarder? Yes, that's all copy, thank Theodore Esperger, BTS-7. Theodore Esperger, VTS, good evening, sir. Traffic information, passenger vessel, Queen Elizabeth at St. Helens will be outbound north and east of the NAB Tower. Over. VTS, uh, she is at St. Helens and she will pass north and east of the NAB Tower. Yes, VTS, Princess Caroline. We've just made a turn at 105. Heading back down for Town Key now, please, southbound. 
Princess Caroline, BTS all copied. There's no reported traffic there. Thank you. BTS, Red Eagle. Red Eagle, BTS, sir. Evening, sir. So that's going to shift from Royal Pier to Town Key, please. We'll stay within the Royal Pier Basin. And BTS, that's all copied, thank you. Uh, Princess Caroline approaching Pier, heading for uh, Town Key, over. So, super, sir, thank you.
Yes, yeah, Princess Caroline, Pierhead, outbound and round for Town Key, please. This is Caroline VTS, that's all copied. A Red Eagle moving from uh, her working berth to a lay by berth in a ball pier. Yeah, that's all copied, thank you. Narrow BTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, Epic St. George just entering the channel from the south will be inbound to Southampton. And the Grande Houston approaching boarding area, Charlie, from the south will board at 2000, then inbound. Over. Jet 7 VTS, yes, if it's safe to do so. The Princess Caroline uh, just approaching Town Key. Over. Red Falcon VTS, all copied, thank you. After the MSC Virtuosa is the uh, Red Osprey at Greenland, over.
as we uh, uh, that's to receive. Thank you. Uh, question: You out uh, North Channel or to the west over?
Uh, Musketeer, uh, VTS, that's all copy. Thanks. Uh, just be advised, we've got the THV alert uh, in the Sandown Bay area. Um, we, we're not in communications with them at this time, ever. Thanks, sir. Have a safe voyage, good watch, and we'll speak to you next time.
Monitor uh, Beach here. Yarmouth outward bound. That's all copy. Thank you. I've got no reported traffic in the Needles Fairway. Can you call me again when passing the Needles Fairway point? Over. Thank you, sir. Time to VHS for Eagle. Ready, all Evening again, sir. That's all fast on Town Quay. Closing down for the night. Next crew will be 0400 for the 5 o'clock sailing. Uh, ready, all VTS. Back to receive. Thank you. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, sir. Good watch. Talk to you tomorrow. The uh, Overland to uh, Santa ETS. Uh, dear Valenti, that's all copied. For your information, you're probably better to call the vessel on channel 16. As the craft is under 20 metres, it's not required to listen to channel 12. Over. Problems come back to us on channel 12, sir, and we'll contact the Coast Guard. Richard, the Vetuator. Hey, Vetuator, Richard. The Tennis Black has been on the 